Is this some weird cult thing? How do you know you don't like it if you've never tried it? Well, let's see if you would try these 10 weird food flavors from around the world. Nate's flavor. Spaghetti popsicles from Japan. Popsicles. Yeah. The popular Nickelodeon kids show iCarly introduced the world to a wacky concept called spaghetti tacos. But this combination takes the pasta fusion concept to a place that's as crazy as it is cold. The experimental tastes of the Japanese audience were added again, debuting what has become known as spaghetti popsicles in the spring of 2014. This frozen faux pas is the brainchild of the Akagi Nugyo Company, which manufactures popsicles and shaved ice style desserts. And whether through curiosity or creativity have found success with some experimental tastes. Uh, yeah, experimental physics. In 2012, the company released a line of corn chowder-inspired frozen desserts that turned out to be a huge seller. A year later, they followed up the soup theme with a cream stew popsicle that was authentic enough to include actual potato chunks frozen inside. And by 2014, the company was emboldened enough to release a flavor inspired by Japan's favorite Italian inspired pasta, an entree called Napolitan. Copycat recipes have popped up on the internet ever since, going as far as to include frozen SpaghettiOs or Chef Boyardee inside the popsicles. But this is one weird flavor combo that should probably get a divorce. Ooh, interesting flavor. Ramen noodles from Japan. Leave me alone! I'm making me ramen noodles! While the dish of ramen noodles has its origins in China, the modernized instant version was invented by Japanese businessman Momofuku Ando in 1958. But in Japan, local tastes can get a little exotic, with some of the recipes getting completely out of hand. Understandable variations of ramen flavors include citrus-tinted lemon or a pineapple one that taps into a sweet and sour taste. But it doesn't end there. Chocolate ramen features enough of the brown stuff to make a bakery blush, incorporating a chocolate soy broth with chocolate sprinkles floating in it and a cocoa garnish. Or to start the day off with a boost, there's coffee ramen. Like it sounds, it features a coffee-flavored caffeine-infused broth that you can drink down like a hot cup of morning joe once you're done scarfing the actual noodles. They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but nobody said it was also the weirdest. Not the weirdest thing I've heard today. Avocado ice cream from America. <laughs> Whether strawberries and blueberries or peaches and plums, fruit remains one of the best toppings for a scoop of ice cream. And it packs even more punch when mixed in directly as an ice cream flavor. But one fruit that some people don't even realize is actually a fruit is a surprisingly popular and certainly weird ice cream flavor avocado. Early attempts at the idea can be traced back to the French Riviera in the 1920s, and it enjoys a popular status in the Philippines. But from all the exotic places around the world you can find wacky flavors, this one seems most successful right here at home in the USA. American recipes for avocado ice cream date back as far as the Great Depression, with one originating in a 1932 Growers of California cookbook. It makes sense for the flavor's roots to stretch back to California. California, as it is the largest grower of avocados in the country. Unlike its other fruity cousins, the avocado's rich taste doesn't pack the sweetness you'd think of for traditional ice cream flavors, which naturally lends to folks thinking it's a strange combination. While the internet is awash with recipes, the best-reviewed avocado ice cream is similar to another avocado dish, guacamole. That is to say, the ones with the most basic ingredients seem to be the most enjoyable. Regardless, any ice cream that can draw ingredient comparisons to a salty Mexican dip can be considered a little weird. It's a little too weird. First time here? Then become an official babble topper by hitting that subscribe button. Thanks. Kit Kat bars from Japan. That to come from Japan! The classic Kit Kat bar we all know and love stateside is a formula that hasn't seen many changes over the years. But in Japan, they've gone completely in the other direction. Kit Kat Japan makes as many changes as possible to their bars, constantly tinkering with new flavors and getting plenty weird along the way. 
In the last two decades, 300 flavors have been released there. Over a calendar year, there are approximately 40 consistent flavors on store shelves, alongside over two dozen rotating experimental tastes. This is the initiative of Yasumasa Takagi, Kit Kat Japan's master confectioner who has been on the job since 2003 and hasn't wasted any time experimenting. By 2004, he had perfected and released a green tea Kit Kat variant and hasn't looked back. Outlandish flavor variants of all kinds have been produced since, including edamame, baked potato, miso soup, pudding, apple vinegar, sports drink, and boiled soybean. Strange as they might sound, the idea was a success. By 2010, a soy sauce-flavored variant was so popular that it even outsold the original Kit Kat bars in annual Japanese sales. With sales that big, it's hard to call it weird when it works. It's very insulting. But it works. Black Garlic Soda from Switzerland Where's the black garlic? Garlic is another veggie that happens to feature a strong flavor with a lingering aftertaste and is well known to wreak havoc with everyone's after-dinner breath. Because of that, you probably wouldn't associate it with an icy, cool soda on a hot summer's day. Unless you're Swiss. Black garlic is created by slowly aging garlic cloves in a low-heat, humid environment until a reaction happens that changes its color and taste. It ends up having twice the amount of antioxidants as normal garlic, and it is often marketed for its health benefits. That's why Swiss manufacturer La Obamas decided to sell it as a beverage. Whether it's actually healthier than regular soda or not, it sure doesn't taste like the ones we find at 7-Eleven. Reviews liken the flavor to sweetened vinegar with a hint of classic garlic, but the manufacturer advertises that it has wholly eliminated that pungent garlic smell. If you ever get the chance to try it, just make sure you've got a breath mint for afterward. You need a breath mint. Onion ice cream from America. They stink? Yes. No. Oh, they make you cry. No. Avocado isn't the only strange ice cream flavor combo, and much like the flavor that inspired this one, the taste and texture might make you cry in a completely different way. Anyone who's ever chopped onions knows their penchant for activating the waterworks, but the odd taste of glass onion ice cream might do the same thing. The flavor is produced as a movie tie-in for the Knives Out sequel, Glass Onion. This ice cream combo is manufactured by the famous Van Leeuwen Company, which has grabbed attention in the past for experimenting with some other viral confections. The company has produced everything from hot honey ice cream and pizza ice cream to mac and cheese flavors, and even one inspired by the specific ingredients in the cake from the 2018 royal wedding of Meghan and Harry. The glass onion variety takes its inspiration very literally, including a reportedly pungent smell of chopped onions alongside chunks of honey comb candy that mimic the idea of shattered glass when you bite down on them. While Glass Onion was an award-winning film, we're not sure any trophies are getting handed out for this interpretation. Mmm, trophy. Tree Bark Soda from the Caribbean Gee, come like this tree bark! Crazy flavors around the world don't just apply to solid foods, they also apply to cold, refreshing drinks. Mavi soda is extremely popular across the southern islands, from Jamaica to Barbados and the Dominican Republic to Puerto Rico. Pepsi International even produces and distributes a version in Trinidad and Tobago. Despite its popularity, Mavi is widely known as an acquired taste and has a reputation for acting as a laxative for unseen seasoned drinkers. The key ingredient in the unique beverage is the bark from varying species of the colubrina tree. It was traditionally made by fermenting the bark, but is now largely replicated as a commercially sold soda. Because of the distinct taste, it can also be purchased as a pre-made syrup that customers can mix at home with sparkling water, making it easier to adjust to their tolerance level. Some take it even further and purchase the real deal from street sellers or local brewers that make it in batches with old-school fermentation methods. But what exactly is this specific flavor that consumers have to be so careful with? Malvi is purported to taste quite similar to strong root beer, but with less sweetness than what we're used to in America and more of the bitter root flavor comparable to the plant it's derived from. It also has a reputation for a lingering and bitter aftertaste that's tough to get rid of. You might say the whole idea behind this weird flavor is barking up the wrong tree. 
He stopped barking. Kit Kat bars across the globe. They have many Japanese Kit Kats in all sorts of flavor. Kit Kat's beginnings go way back and has since spread across the world. Kit Kat first appeared in the United Kingdom back in 1937, released to consumers under the name Kit Kat Chocolate Crisp. From its English origins, the UK is home to Kit Kat's first ever flavor variant, which was Kit Kat Orange, first released in 1996. But without flavor variants, any Kit Kat bar purchased in Great Britain will taste a little weird. This is because of a distinct manufacturing difference, where the bars are produced with a sweetened and dehydrated milk product called Milk Crumb, as opposed to non-fat milk used by Hershey's in the USA. The recipe even differs in Japan, where they use whole milk powder instead. And the differences don't stop there, as the bars have adapted to regional tastes ever since the brand started expanding globally during World War II. In Dubai, you can find Kit Kats in cherry brownie or tiramisu flavors. Canada has several cookie-based variations like cookies and cream, cookie dough, and mint cream cookie smash. Back in the UK, things are the wildest of all. You can get a ruby chocolate variety made from unfermented cocoa beans or a Kit Kat chunky lotus biscoff flavor, which features a caramelized cookie crumb spread. Even if taste preferences vary around the world, Everyone is still breaking off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Where's the Kit Kat? Where's the Kit Kat? Corn ice cream from Mexico. Oh, Mexican food! Wacky as it might be, onions aren't the only vegetable that has crossed paths into the weird world of ice cream mashups. Mexico might very well be the corn capital of the world, producing 27.8 million tons of the yellow stuff in 2022. But amazingly, even that much corn isn't enough to feed their appetite for crunch. The United States Department of Agriculture has forecasted Mexico's corn consumption for the 2022 to 2023 season at almost 45 million tons which means Mexico can't even grow enough corn to keep up with demand. The nation is expected to import 17.7 million more tons over the next year to keep everyone in a happy supply of the husk stuff. And believe it or not, all of that corn consumption makes it a perfect partner for a dessert dish. Because of the heated climate in Mexico, cool ice cream is enjoyed all year round, and not just in the summer months. So it makes perfect sense they'd combine it with a crop that everyone loves. The idea is exactly as it sounds when it comes to corn ice cream, as corn can be pureed directly into the ice cream mix, grated to extract the liquid to combine with a custard base, or added as whole kernels to provide some pop and crunch, similar to what you'd get with chocolate or cookie chunks. Depending on your taste, the combo may or may not be considered weird, but it can definitely be considered corny. It's corny, you corn! Haggis chips from Scotland. From, uh, um, Scotland! Whether they've tried it or not, most people are aware of the reputation of haggis that already makes it a weird food to many. The traditional Scottish dish is a style of pudding featuring the liver, lungs, and heart of a sheep mashed up with onions, oatmeal, and salt that creates a savory mush after it's cooked inside the stomach of the aforementioned sheep. In more modern times, an artificial casing similar to some sausages replaces the stomach, but the rest remains the same. While not usually considered mouthwatering by American palates, the dish is such a delicacy in Scotland they've taken it a step further. The taste and spice of haggis has been replicated by food manufacturer Mackey's of Scotland and released as a potato chip. The snack has proven to be quite popular, likely in large part to the chips being suitable for vegans and vegetarians, since they've removed the icky parts of the recipe that call for the sheep organs and managed to copy the flavor using salt, pepper, oatmeal powder, and citric acid. It might be worth a try, as long as they're sold inside a chip bag and not an animal's stomach. I just don't eat animals. We've got more. Just tap or click on another video. First time here? Then hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.